If you thought the last video about the Gen 2 blade battery was interesting, you'll like this one probably. BYD are currently driving around China right now with some cars like the BYD Seal with solid state batteries in that are coming out for release in not so long from now. So the purpose of this video is to go over what exactly we know for sure about the energy density, the weight, the charge speed when it comes to market and to give you a broader overview of what's going on in the battery tech space with BYD cars. We've gone from 140 to 400 watt hours per kilogram in 10 years, which is a 196% increase in energy density. So if anybody tells you the batteries are not good enough, that it's quickly getting better. So solid state battery packs are also very, very safe compared to uh, LFP chemistry, for example, or NMC, simply because they don't rely on liquid electrolytes. Uh, so the risk of fire or thermal runaway is massively reduced, even if the cells are punctured or overcharged or anything like that. So in short, we're talking about going from 140 watt hours per kilogram from the very first generation of the uh, LFP blade battery, which was not actually called the first generation. Uh, it was just the, the blade battery. And then very quickly, they pushed that up to 150, 160 watt hours per kilogram. And then soon we're going to see the Gen 2 blade battery from BYD, which is 210 uh, watt hours per kilogram, which is brilliant. And then the solid state battery is going to be about 400 watt hours per kilogram, all within 10 years, like I said. So that's just really showing you how fast things are moving. That is very close to triple the energy density in 10 years, very, very close. So initial reports surfaced on SMZDM and were also later picked up by Electrek, if you saw the post on there, uh, revealing that the road testing is currently taking place right now all over China in BYD SEAL uh, sedans. So the prototype battery pack can reportedly recharge from dead to full in 12 minutes and it's expected to remain in trial phases until around uh, 2027, so another couple of years, at which point it may begin limited deployment in BYD production vehicles and then also 2030 mass production. Looking ahead, BYD's Chief Technology Officer Sun, and I won't say the surname, I can't say it, anticipates that this solid state battery technology will be fully integrated into mass produced vehicles by 2030. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much to all of the new people who joined on Patreon and YouTube members. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You are very welcome to join as a free member on Patreon. You don't need to give your bank card or anything like that. You simply just join and then you get deep dive videos and uh, live stream videos. But also uh, just remember that if you do pay two or three dollars a month, you're really helping me do these videos every day. So thank you very much. I'll put your names at the end as well. Uh, in most of the videos, I think, moving on from now. A few people in one of the last videos saying I get paid from BYD, but I literally just don't. Uh, I just say what the news is about all companies, regardless of whether they are American or Chinese or uh, from anywhere else. But you have to remember that 80% of the Globe's EVs last year came from China, and so therefore I'm probably not going to be talking about British electric cars. It's, it's going to be Chinese electric cars. So let's talk about the real-world impacts of uh, small EVs with these batteries which will be coming in the next few years. Right now, the bigger cars on the market have enough range, but the batteries are obviously you know, very, very heavy. Uh, but the smaller ones, like the Dolphin or the Seagulls or you know, Dolphin Surf, ju have just enough range to really pacify buyers and to really get by, you know, 300, 350, 400 kilometers of range. But when these new batteries come in, they will effectively double that range and then some for cars like the BYD Dolphin, Seagull, Dolphin stuff. So when manufacturers over the years saw that with cars like the Cat Toyota Camry, Toyota Yaris, Honda Jazz, that sort of thing, they saw 600 kilometers was about fine. That's kind of enough to give everybody a bit of a buffer to do normal driving and go cross countries and that sort of thing. So that was kind of the sweet spot to stop people stressing once they bought a car. So they probably will do the same thing with electric cars when the batteries come in at 400 watt hours per kilo instead of 160 or 210. I would personally expect that they will basically uh, come with a smaller range and then they can charge quickly and drive very long distances per charge 
and they'll probably cap it at 600 kilometers or something like that. Everyone is expecting this if the comments are anything to go by. Solid state batteries have been pushed back and back and back. Also infamously Toyota with their tweets. I think 2009, 2011, 2013, 2017, they were literally saying that solid state batteries are coming next year and they were just never coming. And so it's kind of a bit like a mythical unicorn at this point. Is it real? But they are def definitely real. Yeah, they are definitely coming. So of course it's going to be the BYD or CATL first, in my opinion, who will uh, get them to mass market first. So when the BYD Gen 2 battery does come to market, that will go in all BYD vehicles, starting with the posher ones, basically the higher value, more expensive vehicles. And then it will work its way down to the Dolphin and Seagull. So there will be a day in a few years time when you can go get a BYD Seagull with 400 or four 500, you know, kilometers of real world range, whatever they decide to put in it when it's solid state batteries, that will happen. So we should see production trials expected 2027 into production 2030. I'm not sure when you will find it in the cheap cars. So BYD's new Super E platform supports a thousand kilowatt charging. Everyone talked about that for a month, didn't they? A few months ago. And uh, so that's one megawatt, enough to add 400 kilometers of charge in five minutes. So their new ultra fast chargers are already being installed all over China, which is pretty crazy. If we take the weight of the Dolphin battery, for example, this is an interesting thing to think about. 44 kilowatt hours of battery from the Dolphin, roughly 280 or so kilograms of weight for the cells in that battery. And that's with the current tech. So when it's Gen 2, that will go down to 213. So not 280, 213, which is 67 kilograms less weight to haul around. Therefore, you'll get more efficiency. And then almost exactly half of that when it's solid state battery chemistry. So taking the weight down from 280 kilograms down by 170 to about 100, just over 100 kilograms. So we've gone from 280 for a battery pack in a car to 100, all in the space of 10 years, which is amazing. Thank you again for watching. Please consider subscribing and you're very welcome to join on YouTube members or Patreon and have your name at the end of the screen on my videos. And you can join on the free tier so you don't need to pay anything for free live streams, deeper dive videos, which is pretty nifty, I think.